Good evening, y'all. Ryan Benson here with uh, B5 Barbecue or Benson Bay Family and Food. Tonight I'm going to be cooking uh, jambalaya. I'm doing the Phil Robertson version of jambalaya that I heard on his podcast. I have since made this quite a few times and uh, I feel like I perfected it pretty good. I hope that I've made it my own a little bit. Not much because it I mean, <laughs> doesn't need much tweaking. The only thing that I've done to it is add garlic. So what we're using today is going to be a lot of meat. I'm using some leftover sausage. Normally I would do andouille sausage. Uh, his recipe, the one I heard, goes for 20 to 25 uh, people. I'm cutting it back. So I'd say about three to four ounces of andouille sausage. I'm just using smoked leftover sausage. About three to four ounces of bacon that I've cut into little strips, about quarter inch thick. About three to four ounces of pan sausage. This is just gonna be some Jimmy Dean. You can make your own. I've got about four ounces of chicken. I've also got, just because I I use the whole bag, crawfish tails, and they're marinating essentially in a bunch of green onions. One bunch of green onions. What else I'm using? Four cloves of garlic. I got about, I think my wife did this for me, about three stalks of celery. That's a little much, I think, for this, but we'll be all right. Got one bell pepper. I only need about a quarter, but again, we're, we'll be all right. And I may save that. I got one large onion. We're gonna use, uh, for me, about two cups of chicken broth, some bacon grease, and, uh, or I'm sorry, two cups of rice, two cups of white rice, and then I'll double the fluid. And I'm also gonna use some tomatoes. And we have some fresh canned tomatoes that my wife has made. Right, so I got my cast iron Dutch oven here. I've got my fire on hot. I'm, I'm with Phil Robertson here. You need a cast iron, you need gas. I got mine on hot. I'm gonna take about one to two tablespoons of bacon grease that I've saved and just get it nice and, and going. Why do I do this? Because that's the way he did it. I have no idea because we're getting ready to cook bacon inside of this. But this is what he did again. His recipe seemed to work out pretty well. I haven't had any complaints yet. I'm now going to take my pan sausage, one meat at a time. We're getting ready to do all the meats. And we're going to brown this pan sausage up real good. So I'm just going to sit here and brown that pan sausage up. Once the pan sausage is done, I'm going to add in my bacon. And then once the bacon's done, I'm going to do one meat at a time. Once my bacon's nice and brown, I'm going to add in my chicken. My chicken has just a little bit of salt and pepper on it. Once I get my uh, chicken done, I'll throw in this sausage only because it's already cooked. Normally I do all my sausages first, but that's how we're going to do it. Here comes the bacon. Remember, my bacon's already cut up, and I'm just going to fry this in the sausage and bacon grease. Again, I really have no idea why this is what uh, the duck commander did. And I just kept this recipe and kept doing it. And I'm telling y'all, I had never done bacon in a jambalaya before, but this stuff is excellent. Uh, I work out at C5 Whitetails. I'm a you know, part-time cook, part-time guide out there during hunting season. Uh, a good friend of mine owns that ranch, and we made this, and everybody loved it. My family seems to love it. We're going to give the kids another try today. The kids are weird, but, you know, one day they like stuff like this, one day they don't. But this is what they're having for supper, so it'll be on them whether or not they want to eat it or not. All right, so now we're doing the chicken. Bacon's done. Sausage is done. The pan sausage is done. I'm going to add my chicken. Let it get white. I've got a metal spatula on my cast iron so I can scrape all this. A little burnt stuff, a little crispy, ain't going to hurt nothing, especially as we move along. But right now, we're just cooking, high heat, get it all cooked. I would say this jambalaya takes about maybe 30 minutes to an hour to cook-ish, about 30 minutes to prep. Once you got everything prepped, the prepping is the hardest part. You'll stay here, you'll cook on it for a good bit of time. and and call this good. But I cook on a high to medium high heat over my gas as you can see and get my chicken done. Once my chicken's done and good, 
I'll go ahead and uh, throw in my smoke sauce. And again, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm not using andouille today. I'll be using just my leftover smoked sausage. It's uh, a little venison that we had the other night that uh, we got. So again, just utilizing what we have that's leftovers. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do. We're not, uh, I'm gonna go my sausage. We're using, you know, for my family, using a little, going a little sausage heavy today just because my kids love sausage. But, so this is gonna be very meat heavy, meat centric. Um, my sausage is already cooked, so I'm basically just gonna heat, reheat it back up. And once we get it heated, I'm gonna throw in my onions. Very important, and I say very important, I honestly don't know why we're doing the veggies one at a time too. Not separately, but we're going to throw my onions in first, let them kind of cook down for a bit, and then we'll add everything else. Okay, I got all my meats cooked. Here comes my onion. That's one onion. One onion into this pot. And I'm going to cook these just as it is, let it absorb all that grease for, I'd say, about five to ten minutes. So I'm going to keep stirring for roughly five to ten minutes and let it cook down. Once all these cook down, I'm going to add in my celery, my garlic, my bell pepper. So I got my onions pretty much cooked down. Oh. Now I'm going to start adding my other veggies, my garlic. Again, Phil does not use uh, garlic, or didn't in the recipe he gave out on the podcast, but I like garlic. His boys, Jason and Al, both said they like garlic. Who doesn't like garlic? So garlic's optional. I'm adding garlic, and I'm going to add in my bell pepper. Again, uh, my wife was trying to be helpful. Probably a little too much bell pepper, but we can use this for salads and other stuff. So I probably used about a half a bell pepper. And then same with the celery. I'm going to probably go with, uh, I'd say we use about one and a half stalks of celery. And we're going to call that good. And now I'm just going to cook all this down for about 10 minutes. And once that's done, then I'm going to add my tomatoes. Okay, we got my vegetables cooked down. I've got some canned tomatoes here. I'm not using all this. This is about a pint-ish. And, uh, and I hadn't even tried to break it down, but use roughly a quart. Not quite a quart for the whole recipe. So I'm cutting it down into fours. I'm going to say I'm probably going to use maybe half this jar-ish. So, I've got my church key. I don't have my church key. Let me find my church key. So I found my church key. I thought I already got this out. Which, by the way, my wife and I were just talking with each other. Why is it called the church key? If anybody knows, I'd love to know. I don't want to Google it. I want someone to tell me. Comment and tell me why it's a church key. I've shaken this up. I'm going to pour my tomatoes. And say about half, maybe a little more than half of a pint. I'm going to stir these up. After the tomatoes, take your Cajun seasoning. I got the cheap stuff just because it does all right. Just a little bit, not a lot. That's good. Stir this in. Once I stir it in good, I'm ready for my rice. I've already measured two cups of rice. So I'm going to dump in my rice. I'm stirring it in. Now I'm going to start adding my broth. You can use water, but trust me, you want the chicken broth. You always want some sort of broth. So we've got homemade broth that my wife has canned. I use two cups of rice. The average rule, you want about four more cups of fluid. I've got all my broth in here. I've used my wife's homemade broth, then we ran out, so I used some just regular store-bought canned broth. Not as good, but it works. It's perfect. Looking at this, I might have too little rice, but it's fine. I'm going to bring this to a boil. Once it boils, I'm going to cover it, drop this down to a simmer, and we're going to stir it. Don't laugh. 
every three minutes, every three minutes, stir this. You're gonna keep everything from getting sticky, and you're just gonna stir it every three minutes. I said every three to five, Bill was particular, every three. He says go sit down and have a drink of tea. I must not be as quick as he is, because I ain't sitting down having a drink coming back in five and three minutes. I'm just gonna sit here. Okay, so I've got a nice rolling boil here. I'm gonna give it one final stir, and this is smelling excellent. But now, cover her up, put it down on simmer, on low. Three minutes, I'll come back and stir. And you're gonna do this, just let it sit covered, stirring every three minutes until the rice is done. It's gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes. So we'll see y'all after a while. I'll show you once and then we'll get it when it's done. I forgot to mention earlier, this jambalaya has no heat whatsoever, none. Uh, very little heat. You can spice it up as you want. I've got three young girls and my wife doesn't like a lot of heat, so we just do uh, very little heat. If you want to add a spicier Cajun seasoning, if you want to add the spicy andouille sausage, um, the spicy Jimmy Dean sausage, or spicy breakfast sausage, whatever flavor you're going to have. If you want to throw in red pepper flakes, whatever, go for it. More cayenne. You do what you need to do. I like spicy food. My wife does not. Honestly, one flair I would love to do to this is add some jalapenos to it. But again, my family doesn't do heat real well. And so if I want them to eat, I've got to cook it a little bit more mild. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that. None of this is real spicy at all. Just flavorful, packed full of flavor. All right. It has been roughly three minutes. I'm gonna take this lid off. Let's get a peek, look at that. Now you're just gonna get it real good, and nice and stirred. Make sure you're scraping the bottom real good as you stir it. Get it all nice and stirred in good. And then put your lid back on and go at it again. Time to check this, see how we're doing. Looks good, give it a stir. Scrape that bottom up. You get any crunches on the bottom? That is good. That is flavor. Scrape it up. Stir it up. It's almost about time for me to grab a spoon or a fork and just make sure that my rice is done. If this rice is done, then we're done. Just about. We got one more. One more thing to do is add the crawfish and. Guys, if you're not a seafood fan, you can do this with shrimp, but if you're not a seafood fan, first off, I'm sorry. Second off, don't add it in. Add the green onions and that's it. Or leave the green onions out. But I'm telling you, you're missing out on some good flavor. You're missing out on some goodness when you leave all that stuff out. So you're gonna want everything in here. I'm gonna sample this, make sure the rice is done. If it is, we're ready for the shrimp. All right, well. Getting ready to touch this with my bare hands, it's not smart. Take this off. Stir it one last time. Get the bottom real, real good. And I can tell you, my rice is done. This smells incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible. Now, here's the fun part. I say the fun part, this is the last part fun part is eating it. I'm dumping in my crawfish, my green onions, and again, I, I put them all together, and we're going to try to get every last bit I can because that's what I do. And uh, get it all out. Stir these together real good. Stir everything in real good. If this is shrimp, I've done this with crawfish and shrimp, but stir it in there. You want to go, I don't know, two, three minutes. Let it cook. Seafood does not take long at all. Not even a little bit. So we're just going to work this like this for about two to three minutes. Get these green onions in there. Man, this smells so good. And you, you're you just working it. I've already got some of this stuff I know is done. But working it for about two minutes. Once I'm done for about another minute, I'm gonna cover this, heat is going off. 
and I'm covering it and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes we're not gonna touch it my wife's gonna come in here and want to look at it nope she ain't looking at it my kids are gonna want to know what's for supper it's jambalaya don't touch the stove and matter of fact while it's resting you can touch the lid because you'll get burned don't do it there she is resting 30 minutes we're all done that's it we're gonna sit let it rest for 30 minutes again we busted out the fine china for tonight's meal nice nice china we got it here at the benson household this is what we do so in 30 minutes i'll come back we're gonna make plates obviously we're gonna bless this food thank the good lord for everything he's done for us in our lives we'll see you after a while all right y'all let's bow heavenly father thank you for this meal thank you for uh, blessing us with the means to cook it lord i pray that it tastes as good as it smells and i also ask that you just continue to draw each one of us closer to you lord we love you and we praise you it's through jesus we pray amen all right there she is looks yellow just because of my bad lighting but here we go what do you think you got the first bite i caught you it's good no comments but it's good taylor delicious i love the sausage love the sausage how about miss grace did you taste it or are you just eating crackers i ate it with the crackers you think it's good yep. yes sir and how about you? Um, what do you think? I think it's good. Um, I don't think the uh, shrimp would be good with it. There's no shrimp in it. What is it then? <laughs> no That's... shrimp. It's jambalaya. <laughs> no shrimp. All right. Looks like we got thumbs up from everybody. So I'm going to dig in. Night. <laughs>